The last trick I want to show you is the patch and creating some of these openings. So I'll do a couple for you. So what I do here is I come in and I do construct and an offset plane. Grab this plane and pull it out here. And here's where I'll sketch in the grill, the lights, etc. I'm going to change my camera back to orthographic. Uh, let's see, a couple things here. Number one, I need to flatten out the bottom of this. It's modeling quickly so I can talk and model at the same time with you guys. I'm going to grab these edges. For illustration purposes, and I'm going to flatten this down. You can do it this way, or if you have a plane, there is this modify flatten. If I had a plane down here, I could pull all of those edges to it. That's another way to do it other than scale. So there's that. Makes a little more car-like, a little bit. Alright, so I've got this plane out here now, and I can use that to sketch on. So what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll make a sketch. I'll do a couple sketches for you. First I'll do an overall grill opening. To do that I use the mirror command, so I'll pull a straight line down. I'll right click on that and I'll change that to a construction line. And then I'll use my spline tool, sketch, spline. Sketch whatever shape I want. Again, I'm being quick, not being designery right now and I go right back to that center line hit the green checkbox I do half of it and then I mirror it over now I can grab these manipulators and drag them straight that makes it tangent, you can see the little tangent arc it's going to make so grab that, straighten it out that's a critical to do or it's not going to turn out right then I can come back, sketch and I can do a mirror sketch mirror I grab this line I grab the mirror line and I mirror that across and say OK. And now I can say stop sketch and I can create and extrude. I grab this and I simply drag that to the car. And I can add the number of faces I want. You can see it's not going to follow the curve exactly unless you add in a lot of faces and that's OK. Um, so 8 is fine actually for me, but I could add more if I want to. So I'll say OK. Then I can manipulate this a little bit more as a cool part. We've already done the draw, sketch, and split face, but the cool thing about this is you can uh, edit this. <clears throat> drag this down. If you want to, you can start to scale it and do all those manipulations to it uh, if you'd like to. So there's the grill. Uh, I'm going to come back and just do some lights. So sketch, I'm going to turn on that construction here, and I'll turn on this previous sketch as a reference. <clears throat> so sketch, I'll do a spline, use this offset plane that I made earlier. Sketch out the light, so whatever shape that light wants to be. And then I will stop the sketch, I only need to do one of these. So there's the light. Then I can modify, I'm sorry, create, and do extrude. So I can grab this guy, I can drag it back through the car there. Then I can right click and say edit form, double click this guy, and pull that in right to there. I only need to do one of these because I can do a symmetry mirror duplicate pick this, click the mirror plane, which is the center plane here, and now I've got two of them. And you'll do this for every opening, lights, etc. for your car. Turn off that sketch. And that's the last step you do. Once the car body is where you'd like it to be, then you hit finish form. And let's see. When you hit finish form, you'll notice that it turns on all of your surfaces. So I turn off step one. I just have this guy, and there I get good to go. 
So I can come back and go to my patch environment, patch, and I can do a modify uh, split face. I can pick this face. And I can click this as a splitting tool and say OK. And now I've split the face, I, and I can turn off this surface here, and you can see it's split. I can do a modify, press and pull, and I can pull that in. Say OK. Um, then I should be good to go. If I need to, I can double check and make sure everything's stitched. This one's all stitched because it push and pull. Sometimes you need to stitch things together, which I'll do here. If I do a uh, modify trim, I can actually do some trimming, just like the, we did at the fan blade project. Say OK. And now I've got these lights trimmed. I might do that if I want to leave these inside here to create a light housing. So what I can do here is create a patch. So I pulled these back a little bit too far, but that's alright. But I can create a patch. Click on any opening here. I can do connected. I can even do tangent if I want the back of the light to be rounded. Repeat patch. Click on this. Oops. Create patch. Click back here. Say OK. Alright, so now I've got a light and I've got an interior housing. So if I come back and do an appearance, I can do a glass or plastic. And I can drag onto faces here. Let's see. Should be able to drag that face. Oops. I think I trimmed and I did not yet split the face, so I still need to do that modify split face. Here's this face. Grab the splitting tool. And I'll repeat that. And it's good to, to be careful about this. So a good trick here is to put my paint up here, whatever I paint the car, drag it to this like a painter would. These are materials that you set up ahead of time. This one up here. So it's easy to put the paint on everything first. So do that first. And then come and just modify certain faces. Great. So I've got the lights there. I can come back and say modify fill it. I can grab this outside face and I can fill it that down. So you can see that's how you do openings and lights. Openings, I might come back and do another appearance. And I'll pick you know, a metal. Aluminum has a bunch of these nice uh, grid-like things. I can drag those up. I can drag those onto certain faces. Ooh, really big. But the cool thing is I've got these here. I can come back anytime, say edit. I can change the roughness, the scale, the color. Um, and if I do that, you know, it's easy to find and modify each of these. All right, last I want to show you some patching here. So I want to come in and create some patches to finish up the car body. So I'm going to do a sketch line. I'm just going to put this on the ground plane. It doesn't really matter because I can sketch. Remember, Fusion's always in 3D mode. So if I turn on the snap, I can do a 3D sketch. And I can just snap to this point and this point. Checkbox. I won't do all of them, but you get the idea. I'd come back. I guess I will show you guys exactly how this goes. Do all of these. Checkbox. Here and here. And check mark. Great. So stop the sketch. Now I can do some patches. Create patch. Patch can grab any edge. You can see it grabs a whole edge. So I want to uncheck enable chaining. So I can just grab one edge at a time, and this line, patch. Just that easy. Sometimes it flips the normal, so there is this modify uh, reverse normal. Like you can see right here, it's painted on the wrong side. Click that. 
Oops, let's see. Click this. Say OK. You want the yellow to be on the inside of the car and your paint to be on the outside of the car. Reverse normal. Okay. So I can go through and patch. I, I won't do all of them, but I'll do one more. Create, patch, and grab this edge and this. See here, painted the wrong side. So I can come in. You can see I've got the uh, tangent still turned on, so it curves it. That's fine. You don't have to do that. You can. And I will reverse the normal here. Okay. So let's go ahead. I want to show you another patch. So create patch. This one's tricky. Instead of tangent, I want this one to be connected so it's square. I go through and I have to select every line all the way around the car. Another testament to simple being better. Try to reduce the complexity in every step you do. Go all the way around. It's a little bit tedious if you have a lot of faces. Obviously I patch in those wheels first, it's easier. I don't want to get to this part. All there and it fills it in. Good to go. Nice patch across the bottom. I'll say OK. And I might want to come back, modify, and reverse the normal. Now, just as an example, you may not want to fill at the bottom of the car, but if you did, if I want to come back and do modify fill it, see I can't even select that edge. And the reason why is I've got surface A and surface B, and they're not together. So here's this surface. I've got my car body here. Whoops. Name these. Always name them so that you know what you're doing. Car's the car body. This is the bottom of the car. So what I need to do to do a fillet is I need to come back and do what's a, called a stitch. So I can modify stitch and I can start to stitch these different faces together. And you'll notice when they're happy that it can make a stitch, it turns green. So I can even include these pieces if I want to. Here, green, and green, green is good. And I can say OK, it shows all these edges. And now that's stitched. And now if I want to do a fillet, modify fillet, I can do that. You can see the edge is now selectable, and I can run a fillet you know, within reason on any of these edges that are now stitched. So you might need to do that. I recommend only stitching what you want to fill it. So you don't want to get crazy with your stitching, but do stitch the faces together that you want to fill it. And that's it. That adds all of your details.